Hello everyone, I'm of course John Doe, and we're going to do another edition of the Ghost Letters Report. Now again, we're outside today doing one of these um, news type things. Again, you know, I'm a summer type person, I like being outside, weather's great, so hey, why not be outside? But we're going to discuss something that's not so great. Current minister and former prime minister, also Taro has come out and Taro, excuse me, has come out and made some rather interesting comments about our single-payer nationalist healthcare system here in Japan. He has said that it's not fair that my taxes will go to cover the healthcare cost of slouches. Effectively calling people lazy. Now his reason for this, he says, hey man, I'm really old, I'm in my 70s, and I've never had a long hospital stay. So he's justifying the fact because he, by the way, him and his family are extremely wealthy and extremely powerful, influential bourgeois here in Japan. So basically he's justifying uh, his feeling that he should not be required to have any type of duty towards society or any type of responsibility towards society because well he doesn't get sick so hey you know not my problem you guys get sick now what this man is failing to recognize is that because he's so privileged and because he's extremely wealthy he can get the best of service whenever he wants it yeah he could pay it all by himself. But how did he become so wealthy and so privileged? How would his family be able to enjoy the best of everything? Of course, off the backs of labor, of those so-called slouches they talks about. Saying that we, the proletariat, we that work for all and provide for all, are somehow lazy. Because we didn't attain the same privilege that him and his family has attained. Or well, how can we? When the bourgeois control everything, when that class, the capitalist bourgeois class control everything, and everything is geared in society towards benefiting them the most, well then how can we achieve the same level he can? It's impossible. So at the least, he does have a responsibility to society. But of course, as we know, bourgeois capitalists do not think that way. They think that it is a privilege that we, who have no own nothing and control nothing, and the only thing we have to survive in capitalism is to sell our, our own labor, somehow, you know, are less. And it's a privilege that we get anything from them. We should be thankful. Thankful for what? Taking away all our power in society, giving us no real true democracy, and being, you know, subjected to the whims and desires and will of the bourgeois capitalist class. It's ridiculous to say such things. But why is he saying this? Well, because if you're not aware, Japan, Japanese capitalism, as capitalism globally, is in decline, it is in decay. And we currently do have a nationalist, fascist government in control here, being led by Shinzo Abe, and he has transformed the already very bourgeois and very capitalist um, uh, supporting LDP into a fascist nationalist party. And now, they are going to tackle our single-payer uh, nationalist health care system. They're going to go after it. But currently, the fascist Shinzo Abe government under the guise of the ODP, are currently going after to remilitarize Japan. That's their current thing. And I'll be doing a video soon on this. I've done videos in the past, but there's been some updates I think I need to point out. But the next thing, I'm telling you, this is a clue. This is, you're telling, they're telling, the bourgeois are telling us what they're going after next. They're going to go after our healthcare system here. Now, the healthcare system in Japan is probably one of the best among first world privileged capitalist nations. The Japanese have a very long lifespan. And it's directly because everyone here has access to health care at a 
very low cost and sometimes you don't pay anything except your monthly tax for it it's um national health care tax you get a slip in the mail every month you can pay it monthly or you can pay it by six months you pay it yearly it depends on how you want to do it you can visit any doctor you want you can visit any hospital you want and you're not turned away he doesn't understand how fundamental that is to society and to the worker you know he just wants to take it all away from us and this also shows a failure of social democratic policies the idea you can reform capitalism you can't reform capitalism as long as capital is flowing and capitalism is you know expanding yeah social democratic policies work but as we've seen the past decade since capitalism has completely collapsed and goes into decay all these social democratic niceties are being attacked and stripped away by the bourgeois taken from us because they're struggling to continue the what in their mind is an infinite accumulation of, of capital. It just go on and on forever. And there's somehow a finite supply, or excuse me, an infinite supply of resources. But capitalism is proving that that's not true. So you see the mindset of these privileged and titled bourgeois. And when times, you know, when they can't expand their capital, yeah, social democratic policies are, te are proven to be a failure and they're stripped away from us. So that's all I'm going to say about this for now. Please like and share this video if you want. You know, comment in the comment box below. You know how much I enjoy that. You know how much I enjoy interacting with all of you. And if this is the first time you've seen me, I you please subscribe. I'm right here in Tokyo, Japan. I give you lots of interesting perspectives on things which you may or may not be aware of yet. So until then, this is, this is me, John Doe, here in Tokyo, Japan. Checking out.